As Israeli forces mass on the outskirts of Rafah, fleeing Palestinians say they're already struggling to find a place to stay. Deir al-Bala in central Gaza is crammed with people who've fled in recent days. Amani al-Fayoumi is among those who can't find anywhere to set up camp. We have been sleeping in the cold for four days and there is no place to set up our tent. Where will all the displaced people go? Sumeya Shaaban and her children have been sat by the road for three days. What little aid there is doesn't reach them. We are without life's necessities. We take water from the sea for our children. There are no bathrooms. There is no food. There is no site supporting us. Israeli tanks seized the Gaza side of the Rafah border crossing with Egypt on Tuesday, cutting off a vital aid route and forcing at least 80,000 people to flee the southern city this week, according to the United Nations. That could be just the beginning. Residents fear Israeli strikes on Rafah, the biggest urban area in Gaza not yet overrun by Israeli ground forces, are a sign an invasion is imminent. The city is a refuge for hundreds of thousands of Palestinians who fled combat further north. Like many Gazans, the al Kafana family have been displaced several times during the conflict and are now on the move again, this time from Rafah to the al Mawasi area of Khan Yunis, where they've been told, once again, they'll be safe. Leila al Kafana. We keep moving from one place to another. This child was born during the war. What did he do wrong? He was born in Rafah. There are no clothes. What did these children do wrong? What can we say? Israel says it must hit Rafah to defeat thousands of Hamas fighters it says are holed up there. The United Nations, Gaza residents and aid groups say an Israeli invasion of the city will result in a humanitarian catastrophe.